praise the lord my dear friends today let us reflect together on the readings that are given to us for the 29th sunday of the ordinary time today's readings focus mainly on the meaning of true greatness in the gospel according to saint mark chapter 10 verses 35 to 45 we have the account of james and john meeting jesus and requesting for a special favor they wanted to sit one at the right and the other at the left of jesus when jesus would enter into his glory look at this they thought they could become great by becoming better than the rest of them and that would also explain the reason why the other disciples were feeling a little indignant or jealous when they saw these two requesting this it's common among all of us to consider that we can be great by becoming better than the rest of us so there is a tendency to compare ourselves constantly when we notice someone else doing better do we feel uncomfortable it's possible that sometimes even when we do not do really well if we have done better than everyone else we might feel good about what we have done is that real greatness becoming better than the others actually no what exactly is true greatness let us look at this request that james and john made they said they wanted to sit at the left or right when jesus entered into his glory so these two wanted to become part of jesus glory now what was the concept of glory according to jesus if we understand that we will also understand what exactly is true greatness and we have that in john chapter 17 verses 4 and 5 here jesus says i glorified you on earth by completing the work that you gave me to do now glorify me in your presence with the glory that i had from the beginning of time look at what jesus says he says that he glorified god by completing the work that god gave him to do and therefore now to glorify him so jesus wanted to be glorified only by completing the works that he was entrusted with by the father how can we be great or glorified only by completing the works that are entrusted to us by the father and whatever may be the kind of life that we have opted for whether as consecrated or lay people we know that the lord has a particular plan to be achieved or completed within us and our greatness comes from the fact that we are able to cooperate with the lord in order to make that plan of god in our life into a completion and therefore what should we compare ourselves with can we compare ourselves with others and feel great no because the plan that the lord has for someone else is different from the plan which the lord has for us so then what should we compare ourselves with we can compare ourselves with the model that set by jesus himself we can also compare ourselves with our life in the past and see whether we have progressed in our journey towards this completion of the plan set for us by the lord if we notice we have progressed in our journey in comparison with how we were last month last year then we are on the right track it doesn't matter how the others are performing because the plan which the lord has for them is so totally different and that's why when jesus prayed in the garden he never compared himself with others he didn't say that why only me i have already done past 3 years so much for the glory of god and now again to die on the cross why only me he didn't ask that question because he knew he could not compare himself with anyone else but all what he could compare himself was the plan that was set for him by the lord and in that comparison he found there is still a long way to go and therefore he said lord not my will let your will be done and so jesus didn't react when he was insulted when he was spat upon when he was beaten scourged when he was put to shame before every one of the crowd so once we realize what exactly is the path that are set before us by the lord we will also learn how to face insults and humiliations 
and all these insults and humiliations that we may go through will bear fruit if we make sure that such humiliations and insults come because of our dedication to the work that we are entrusted with by the lord and this realization will enable us to become a servant like what jesus said he said those who want to be first must be a slave of all and we know a slave does not have an opinion of his own a slave just has to do the will of the master does it mean that we have to just do the will of everyone else no not everyone else but of the lord we make ourselves a servant of the lord and we keep our will aside and do the will of god and in doing the will of the lord in the best way possible we are also able to accept the insults and humiliations that come on the way and that is why the second reading from the letter to the hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 we have the example of jesus as the high priest and it is said we can go to him in time of need and when we go to him this is the example that we see set by jesus accepting all the pains and difficulties and humiliations that comes on the way of fulfilling the will of god and do we need to accept all these just for the sake of accepting just for the sake of doing the will of god what's the benefit of all this it's not just for the sake of suffering look at the first reading taken from the book of isaiah chapter 53 verses 10 and 11 here the lord speaks about the suffering servant and he says it was the will of the lord to crush him interesting right yes the lord crushes someone if he wants to make use of that person and the person who undergoes this will not be disappointed when he or she is able to see this whole picture that is why again in the first reading we have out of the anguish of his soul he shall be satisfied so there is a kind of satisfaction there is a kind of joy that a person experiences in spite of all the sufferings and humiliations if he or she makes sure that he or she is in the path set by the lord for that person and when a person is willing to do that the lord will use that person to touch the lives of so many others if the lord wants to use a person to touch the lives of so many others the lord will make sure that person is capable of setting his personal selfish will and desires aside and put the will of the lord as his primary concern and in doing so the lord will give him the ability to make so many others righteous like he did with jesus so my dear friends how can we really analyze our greatness is it by comparing ourselves with others no we can do this by comparing ourselves with the plan that is set for us by the lord how do we know that plan we need to find that out in our personal prayer in our reflections and we can compare ourselves with how we had been in the past and see if we have grown a little closer to this plan set by the lord for us and so we can become greater and greater by dying to ourselves more and more may god bless each one of us